pancakes, Dad. You think you want some more? Nope. All done. Six blueberry elephants is enough for me. Let me take that. You finish getting ready. The school bus will be here soon. Stanley, you must be excited. Today's the big day. The big day? What big day? The school play. Didn't you tell me you were chosen for the school play? The musical. Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah! The kindergarten kids are doing the elephant's garden. I, I was in that. This is my garden. Stanley, then you come in with... And these are my friends. Right. I knew that. I just don't feel like singing right now, Lionel. Well, I guess you don't have to sing. No one's forcing you. You better hurry up and get your stuff together. Okay. Have you seen my book bag? I think I saw it last under your bed, Stanley. You know, I don't think I want to go to school today, Dennis. But today's the school play. That's just the problem. I forgot about the play. And to make things worse, I can't sing. I'll never be able to do it. It's impossible. Singing? Impossible? Now, what makes you think it's impossible? I don't know. It's like, you know. No, I don't think I do, Stanley. You know how sometimes someone is really good at something, but you're no good at it? It's like that. It is? Lionel's a great singer. When I sing, everyone is going to laugh. Especially Lionel. He's good at music. I'm just not. Hey, what's happening, dudes? It seems we have a fear of singing dilemma. Singing? I can do that. Please don't. Oh. How was that? Perhaps we can find someone in the animal world a little more tuneful to give you some guidance. I kind of like frogs. I like them too. Rabbit, rabbit. But I know an animal that sings even better than that. A bird? Yeah, a robin. They're great singers. Which do you think sings better, the frog or the robin? Ba -ba -ba <laughs> hey, I just thought of another great singing animal. It's really, really big, it has a tail, and it lives in the water. Oh, I think I know. It has a spout, too. Do you know what I'm thinking of? He's thinking of a whale. Dudes, wait! Whales sing? <laughs> yes, indeed. Especially the humpback whale. Yeah, they're supposed to be great. <laughs> they could show me all about singing. Cool. Let's find out more about the humpback whale. Aha! Uh -huh. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. I do wish they would stop that. Stanley knows the book won't fail to teach him all about the whale. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Here we go. W for whale. 
Where do humpback whales live? It says here that they live in all oceans of the world, including polar seas. Those are the really cold parts. I want to see more. Come on, Dennis. Let's go. Whee! I don't hear any whale singing yet. Look, that's a school of humpback whales. About six, I think. And there's a mummy and her calf. And it's not called a school of whales, Stanley. It's called a pod. A pod? Fish swim in schools. A group of whales is called a pod. A pod, huh? And a whale isn't a fish? No, a whale is a mammal, just like you. Whales have tails that go up and down. Fish, like me, flap back and forth. Whales also need to go to the surface for air. Fish use gills to breathe. Whales don't. They have lungs like humans do. Look, there's a whale spouting. They blow water out of their blowholes before they breathe in. Look, there's the hump. That's why they're called humpback whales. When are we going to hear some singing? Still no whale singing. I gotta figure out the singing thing soon. School starts any minute. Whoa, what's that sound? Look at that. doing that? That's called breaching. It makes a huge sound. It might be to communicate over long distances, but no one's sure. They don't know why? Huh. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. I think I hear something. Yeah, me too. I think it's coming from over there. Wow. it was. Stanley, where's the star of the school play? Oh no, we've got to get back. I'll miss the bus. Stanley, get moving. The bus will be here any minute. Stanley, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? I have to go to school and sing in front of everybody and I still can't sing. Everyone will laugh at me, especially Lionel. But you can sing. You just did with the whales. That wasn't real singing. That was whale singing. I've got to do real singing in a real school play. Whether it was real or not, I liked it. How did it go again? Hmm. Let me see. little brother. You'll sing with the dog, but not with me? Well, uh... I thought it sounded good. Really? Yeah. Sing with me. This is my garden. And these are my friends. Everything here is play and pretend. Nice. Come on. We gotta catch that bus. Just a sec. I sing. I can sing. You forgot to close the great big book of everything. What is that? Oh, that sounds like a big truck. Ah, the sky is falling. <gasps> there is so 
something weird going on. Let's get out of here. Yeah, um, I gotta do something. I don't know. I got a pretty strange feeling about this. We well, better go, Stanley. I gotta change my socks. Change your socks? Come on! It's important. I've got to get that wheel off the roof. He must have jumped out of the book when you weren't looking. <laughs> I think I saw a whale on our house. A whale? No way, Lionel. I must be seeing things. Weird. Forget about it. Hey, let's sing that elephant's garden song. Okay, you be the elephant this time. This is my garden and these are my friends. Everything here is play and pretend. This is my garden and these So it sounds like the play went well. Yep, nobody laughed when I sang. I think I like singing. Give us one more song for the day, Stanley. Okay. How's this? Good night, Dennis. Good night, Dennis. You're the best fish, I must say. We wouldn't want you any other way. Hey, you, settle down. Time for bed. You're a fish, you're not a whale. But you're the best from head to tail. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Dennis. Good night, my super singing whale of a pal. Sloth for a day. Okay, all done. You were a great help, Stanley. No problem. Stanley, could you help me for a second and hold that leg? <sighs> That's it! Thanks. I made some iced tea. Come and get it. You know, every Saturday we do projects, and every Saturday I'm the helper. And you're great at it, Stanley. We'd miss your helping. I'll still help, but I want to be the boss of something on Project Day, too. Well, you can have your own job. Take some time and think of something you'd like to do every week. I'm going to think of the best project ever. Oh, wow. Oh, well, where are we going? Oh. I thought you were going to think about your project. I think that's to my cocoa stick. I think it's in the garage. Watch out for those! Ah! Ah! Newspapers. Stanley? Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Sorry, I guess I've gotten a little lazy with all this newspaper recycling. Wow, is this place a mess? You know what, Dad? What? I've got an idea for my Saturday project. Yeah? I can do the newspaper recycling. Great idea. The truck comes every Saturday, so all the stacking and bundling has to be done by then. You've got a week. Great! I'm a recycling boss. Yippee! Guess what, guys? I have a job and I'm the boss. For real, not pretend. Yeah! I'm now chief of newspaper gathering, bundling, and recycling. Very nice title. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm still wondering, like, uh, why are we doing this? Well, the recycling truck comes by and takes the stuff away to be recycled. And then... Hmm. And then I'm not sure what happens. What happens next, Dennis? Well, let's look at one of my favorites. The Great Tiny Waterproof Book of Recycling. Aha! What, Dennis? Recycle means you use it again. So when you recycle newspapers, they use them again to make more newspapers? That's right. They mush the old newspaper up and make brand new paper out of it. So what do they make newspapers out of if you don't recycle? If you just throw them out? 
Well, newspapers are printed on paper, Stanley, and paper comes from trees. So if you don't recycle, we use more trees. And trees take a very long time to grow. Huh? We have a pretty important job. Hail to the chief of recycling. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, want to play T-ball? It's fun. Oh, right, T-ball. I guess we could take a break. Come on. Looks like fun. What about your job, Stanley? It's Monday, and the recycling doesn't have to be done until Saturday. How many days away is that? Do you know? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six days. That's plenty of time. Let's finish up later. Okay, Tuesday's gone. But we still have plenty of time to do the recycling. I think. Well, Stanley, you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and part of Saturday. Oh. Okay. Dennis? Yes? The week disappeared. There was so much going on. T-ball, freeze tag, kick the can. I have to do all the recycling in one day. Tomorrow. Stanley, what about those newspapers? It doesn't look like you've gotten that far. I know. Well, you'd better hurry. Yeah, I guess. Better hurry, better hurry. But I don't want to hurry. It's just too nice a day to hurry. Don't you think? Let me guess. Your dad wants the newspaper recycling done. Yeah. I said I'd be the recycling boss, but I kept putting it off. And now the truck's going to be here any minute. Huh? Any minute? That's soon. I, I think. Dad wants me to hurry. But what's the use? I can't do it in the time I've got left. It's too big a job. And besides, I don't feel like hurrying. Well, the whole world can't go around dragging its feet. Nothing would get done. I don't know. There are plenty of animals who don't hurry, and nobody complains about them. Like me! And turtles. Hey, do you know one of the very slowest animals? Uh, rocks are pretty slow. I'm thinking of the sloth. What's a sloth? It looks like this. And it lives in rainforest, and it moves really slowly. But we can find out more in the Great Big Book of Everything. Yes, the sloth. It's the Great Big Book of Everything, with everything inside. See the world around us, this book's the perfect guide. As I was saying, the sloth is... Sloths don't ever worry, because they're never... Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Here we go, S for sloth. How slow is it? Who do you think would win a race, Stanley or a sloth? Let's test it out and see. It would take a sloth all day to reach the finish line. Wow, this guy could teach me all about rest and relaxation. No work at all. Let's go! Whoa! Slow down! I will. Whee! Whoa! Hey, where's that sloth? Just look a little harder. I'm sure you'll find it. Can you see the sloth? Hmm. There he is. I can hardly see him. Well, sloths are hard to spot in the forest. Algae, a sort of mossy stuff, grows on them. The sloth blends right into the tree. That's right. He's camouflaged. Camouflage is a disguise that helps you hide. This guy is cool. 
He doesn't look like he has any chores at all. What does he do all day? Well, mostly he eats leaves and hangs upside down. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know, Stanley. Hanging from a tree all day and all night might be okay for a sloth, but... Uh... I think it's a great idea, right? Well, just don't eat the leaves. Can we please stop this silly game, Stanley? Aren't your arms getting tired? Just a few more. Huh? Wow, that jaguar was huge. He didn't see us. I think he was searching for a meal. Thanks for camouflaging my bowl. What's that sound? Doesn't sound like any animal I've ever heard. Hey. Whoa, he's gonna... Cut us down! Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. It was scary. What happened? Lumberjacks are cutting down trees in this part of the forest for the wood. What are they using the wood for? Chopsticks, houses, newspaper. They're cutting trees down to make paper? I've been hanging around like a sloth, and I could have been saving trees by recycling. Where's the great big book of everything? We needed to get out of here. There it is. No, that's not for eating. We've got work to do. Where did you get that sudden burst of speed, son? You never know when a lumberjack is going to cut down your house. Huh? Well, I just realized you got to watch out for the trees sometimes. Recycling newspapers could save a sloth's home. And a lot of other animals, too. A sloth? Well, I guess you're right. Uh, sloths do live in trees. Wow, good thinking. I'm impressed. Thanks, Dad. I'm sure glad I saw a rainforest. Dennis, if all the trees were cut down, where would my friend the sloth live? He wouldn't have any place to live. That's his home. Dennis, you were totally right. A guy can't lie around all the time like a sloth. Nope. Maybe I can do some more recycling tonight. You know, bag all the plastic stuff, the glass stuff. Maybe I should reuse all those plastic sandwich bags I throw out. Well, maybe it's time to take a rest. Good night, my busy sloth pal. Stay tuned for Guess How Much I Love You, coming up on Disney Junior.